probably more than it's worth, honestly. And I just got all excited and clicked bid, 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 bid. Uh, I didn't read the description, and in the description it says, quote, no running. Guys, it is auction day at the week's turf auction, and I am gonna take you along, and hopefully, I'm gonna win a mower or two. There's a couple different mowers I'm looking at that I'm really excited about. Um, I've wanted a flex head unit for a while, especially for my front yard where it's got a lot of going on. So I've been pretty excited about picking up one of these. So hopefully I can pick one up today. So I'm gonna take you along as I do that. And then uh, hopefully we'll go pick one up. All right, so I'm high bidder on let's see one two three four different mowers obviously i'm probably not going to end up being the high bidder on all of them i'm probably not going to win all of them but right now i'm winning four auctions um, they're all four toro flex units and except for one there's a Allet 17b which i'm pretty excited about because i would love to have some time on an Allet. The only thing that I worry about is before I was paying attention and I just got all excited and clicked bid, 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 bid. Uh, I didn't read the description. And in the description it says, quote, no running. So that could be a problem, but it is a Briggs and Stratton engine so I would imagine it probably wouldn't be terribly difficult to just pull the engine and put a new one in. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, it's only at 170 bucks right now, so not that big of a deal. One thing that you do need to understand on auctions, specifically on this week's auction, is there's a couple of things that are built in beyond just the cost for the mower. So you gotta understand that you're going to pay the cost of the mower. So for example, this Allet mower that, I, that I'm looking at right now, I have the high bid at 170 bucks. Now, if I win this at 170 bucks, I'm gonna pay $170 plus a 10% premium, which is the buyer's premium for this auction. So an extra $17 and then whatever it costs to ship it to me. This is in South Georgia, so I could either go pick it up, which is what I'll probably end up doing if I buy more than one, or I could have them shipped to me. Now, shipping's gonna run uh, most likely, uh, you know, depending on where you are. For me, because I'm not too far away, it's probably gonna cost me 150, 200 bucks. But if you're buying one of these out of South Georgia and uh, you live in Washington or, or you know, Wisconsin or, or, or you know, somewhere far away, it's gonna cost you more money. So just understand that this price does not include everything. All right guys, so update. Somebody outbid me on the Allet. Now the high bid is 180. If I want to bid on it, it's uh, the next bid up is 190. And saying that it's not running, I just don't know that I'm going to bid on it. I am holding out as the high. Oh, somebody just outbid me on this Flex 21 unit. The high bid is now 75. So I'm going to confirm that bid at 80. It tells me. It's the bidder's responsibility to inspect items before bidding. Yeah. Yeah, so there's, so obviously, so here's the deal. Without going to this auction and checking it out for myself, I am taking a high risk that uh, there's going to be some significant damage or things that have to be replaced. That's a risk I'm willing to take because I understand these real mowers and I've got contacts who can help me repair things so i'm not too worried about it but do understand that if you're buying a real mower from an auction and you haven't inspected it yourself it could get really pricey 
it's not like a rotary mower where you just put a new blade on it and you're ready to go like this can get really really expensive really quick so make sure you don't get carried away in the auction process and just get super excited and start clicking and clicking and clicking because you could get in a hole real quick my my goal is to probably get two assuming that one of them might not be in the best condition or both of them might not be in the best condition but maybe i can i can salvage parts from either of them for uh one mower that works good so we'll see i'll keep you updated oh i just got outbid so if you're under a minute and you bid i think it adds another minute so i'm gonna let this run down and uh, see how high it goes up maybe we'll get lucky and it'll stay and uh, and i can get it pretty cheap so we'll see <clears throat> All right guys, it is crunch time. I am down to one minute left on this mower. This one Flex 21 is currently sitting at $240, $250, $300. People are starting to bump it up. So I'm gonna watch it really close and see if I can get it at a decent deal. This one's up to 600 bucks. This one's at 300. Minimum bid is now at 350. That sucks. Bid's at 450. Uh, I don't know if I want to go that high. All right, this one is at 400. I'm the <clears throat> I'm a high bidder at 410 with two minutes left. That one's gonna go higher a bit. Good grief, these are going high. 605 is what that one's going for. It looks like 555, which isn't a terrible price, but you gotta understand that you're taking a big risk. High bid is my bid with one minute and 50 seconds left. This one, the high bid is at 400. Oh, it jumped up, now they're at 450. I don't know if I'm gonna get one. Good grief, I just got outbid again. All right, I'm a high bidder at 200, 220. Oh, I got outbid 240. All right, I'm holding it at 240. Oh, the guy pushed it up to 300. 350, 400. Good grief. High bid's 450. Minimum amount is 500. I don't know that I want to spend 500 on this thing. 560. So they're selling for about 500, it looks like. So here's the problem with the auction, right? Do I go for it at 500? Oh, I better at 500. All right, I'm not going over 500. If I get it at 500, I'll take it. I'm not gonna spend more than that. It's probably more than it's worth, honestly. This is stressful. Oh, they bumped that other one up to 560. I don't think I'm gonna get it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. 25 seconds left. 20 seconds. 15 seconds, 13 seconds, 10 seconds. Oh. So, hey, I got it at 500, oh man. All right, so I am the proud new owner of a Toro Flex 21 for $500. I'm gonna see about getting it shipped down here. Probably cost me 200 bucks. But, I got a new mower. Hopefully it runs. Looks like this other one just sold for 560. I won that one for 500. 500, 605. These John Deere's were going for four. You know, I should have bought a freaking John Deere. Should have bought a John Deere. They're going for 400, 390, 400. Somebody bought another Flex for 700. <whistles> All right, well, I guess the next part of this video will be shipping it. I'll show you that. 
All right, guys, so I got an update. I just got off the phone with Andy from the Weeks Auction. And so all in, total cost to get this mower from the Weeks Auction to my office here at Yard Mastery HQ. It's going to cost me 190 bucks. So he said all in, total cost for me to get it from there including the purchase price and all the fees and stuff associated with that is going to cost me $740. So if this mower does not need a ton of work, $740 for a real mower is a pretty good deal. Um, if it doesn't need a lot of work. So this is all, this is the, uh, really the risk that you take when buying from an auction site unseen is, there is a big chance that this mower is gonna be a hunk of junk. Like, there's there's a big chance. It looked decent in the pictures, but I really can't tell beyond those pictures. So, we'll just have to see. I will update you when it ships. He said it should take about a week to ship, so I should have it. Today is February 18th. I should have it in a little over a week it's going to be it's one day transit time so hopefully next friday i will have the mower here delivered to my door um, now understand that if you are shipping something to your house you are going to pay more money um, there is a residential surcharge fee with a lot of these shipping companies and then some shipping companies won't ship to your house at all so you'll have to go to their hub whatever hub is closest to you and pick it up. Residential surcharge fees are typically like close to a hundred bucks. So just understand this before you get into actually buying off of an auction, what all the fees are going to be associated with that and you know, see if it's even going to be worth it to you. You know, the fees add up really quick. So also these guys charge a 3% fee if you use a credit or debit card. Um, so they give you bank wiring instructions, so that's what I'm gonna do. So all these are just the little fees and stuff to add up. I want you guys to understand if you're going to buy a real mower, how much it's really gonna cost. All right guys, so the truck is finally here, pulling up over here with my brand new, to me, Toro Flex 21 mower. I believe. He said he had something from Toro. So, about to see. Residential surcharge fees. Residential surcharge fees. Resident. I can't talk. 